boys and girls, I want to talk to you about a few different ways that plants spread around so that either they live all during the winter, they're perennial or they're annual and they drop seeds and die and they come back. But there's different ways that they do that. So these verbena, these purple ones, and we have more verbena over here that are pink, they spread out along the ground, kind of like grass does. Their roots grow out and they send branches out that have roots on them and they'll just spread over time. So every now and then we have to trim it back, otherwise it would take over this whole bed. Now this is fennel. And fennel can die back in the winter, but it's kind of like a root vegetable. It is an herb, but you know how potatoes are in the ground and carrots are in the ground? Well, the fennel bulbs, the part we like to eat, look like onions and they're white. And these aren't grown really big yet, but they'll be down in the ground under here. Now, fennel leaves you can eat too, but usually people pull up the bulbs. And I had pulled up all the bulbs and I thought this fennel plant wasn't going to come back. But look, I had left a little bit in the ground and it's coming back. But what's interesting is this plant over here with the round leaves is a flower, but look at the spiky leaves. There's fennel over there now. Now fennel cannot go underground this far. So what happened was some seeds from the fennel flowers blew in the wind over here. And now we have a second set of fennel plants growing in conjunction with this flowering plant. That's super interesting. Also, I think I showed you last year, we had some of our flowers in this bed and you kids helped me spread the seeds around. And look, some of the seeds are growing now that we've had warmer weather. These are gonna be zinnias. Now, how do I know that they're gonna be zinnias and they're not weeds that I should pull? Well, I've just seen baby zinnia seeds grow before and I recognize the plant. First, they're round, so these are not frilled like we were talking about our dianthus yesterday. They're rounded leaves but then they start turning into this shape. And then this is where it'll grow taller. And eventually when the plant grows big enough and it has enough green leaves to support all the nutrition it needs from getting light from the sun, then the leaves get bigger and they have a bud and they'll turn into flowers like this. So those little ones in the dirt are baby plants like this spread from seeds.